Hey guys, welcome back. So for today, we have uh, Deschutes, a Fresh Haze IPA. Yes, I only have a mustache, don't be alarmed. Um, this one's gonna be an over tasting because the Chiefs won today. And it was awesome. Um, didn't get to watch a whole lot of the game. I was practicing for a couple interviews. So, and I don't have any of my Chiefs gear on because my garage is not the cleanest and I'd rather not get it dirty. So, without further ado, let's drink some brew. Um, So this actually is pretty orange, and not just because the can's orange. I'll show you guys. It really does. I had um, one of these a couple nights ago when I first bought them. Look at that. It is look at that pour. Man, I should be in commercial or something. Hey. <laughs> um, color is not very clear. Uh, it's because it is an IPA. It's a little bit of a of a darker um, color. The alcohol content on this is six point five, so it's within a normal range of an IPA. And Without further ado, I think that this has more of an orange taste to it. They have this um, as intensely juicy irresistibly hazy, freshly squeezed, and they also said that no fruit was harmed in the making of this beer. Which uh, is very funny because they definitely squeezed the hell out of some oranges or whatever was in this. I didn't read the box because I was too excited to drink one of these and load the fridge up when I got home from the store. Went to a different Smith's um, in the upper class section of Las Vegas. Um, tastes really good, it's very smooth. Uh, it's not heavy. A lot of the beers that I've been a lot of the beers and IPAs I've been trying lately aren't very heavy. Um, I don't know if it's by chance, but I just keep grabbing like what I think are random beers. And uh, my dog just got scared just because I opened the door. I usually kind of go like, hey, stop that. He barks at everything. You guys have dogs like that? They just bark at everything? They see they see my neighbor every day, and he barks and jumps on the wall every day. He knows him. He's come over to the house. Like, we've all hung out. Still. Still will do it. Um, where was I? Yeah, this tastes like it has, like, a hint of orange juice in there. Um, with that hop uh, taste. It's almost like the head on it is almost, it's almost if like you had a root beer float. It might be because I poured it into an ice cold mug. But um, I really think that that's just the, the way that the beer is because of the fruit that's in there. <clears throat> Very 
very good. It's very refreshing. Uh, this isn't going to be a very long video. Uh, I got a long day tomorrow, and I still. Ooh, I'm probably not going to be posting very often, even though I don't post very often anyway. It's like once a week, but I'll be out of town for the next couple of weeks to do some physical assessment testing, and I'm going to be focused on that. If I can, I'm going to squeeze in a video here or there, um, but I know that some of you guys enjoy watching these. Um, not for very long, I think it only lasts a couple minutes for everybody. I can only stand looking at my face for a couple minutes, trust me. I get it. I have to look at it every day. Stash is really just spilling this beer everywhere, but I'm committed to it. <sighs> committed to it. I don't know, I have a lot of high energy right now, so it's not very. Um, so let's see. Scar. I really like the shoots. I've been out and been to their brewery. <clears throat> so whenever I see any kind of Deschutes beer here, I usually pick it up. Um, it's definitely a vice that I have. Um, I like to try new beers, and especially if I find Deschutes beer, like, I will try some of the darkest beer that has a bourbon blend into it, just because. Um, and some of them are, they have it limited to a certain ounces because it's like, it's like wine. It's almost like 14, 15% alcohol. So, so these beers have been really nice for me. Um, I haven't been drinking heavy beers at all lately um, but I would highly recommend this one I'm gonna give this one a nine um, if you're an IPA drinker it's I would highly recommend it it's very refreshing um, it's not too hoppy uh, but you still get that that little bite of hoppiness um, it has kind of like the fruity taste of that blue moon, um, but without the wheat uh, taste because of just what kind of beer it is. Uh, it's really good. I also plan on doing another shotgun challenge with my brother pretty soon. Um, uh, I just don't know what, what to, what beer to grab. I'm like, what, what, Keystone? Am I going to do Keystone, Natty, Bud Light, Miller Light? I think those will probably be the ones and the best ones out of those. The top two. I'll probably do a another video on the best ones of those and we'll do it like um, tournament style so we'll have a loser bracket which obviously the, the PAPS is going I still have that case of PAPS I have not drank it. it. I didn't even put it in my fridge. Um, and we bought all those ice cold and it was just, got it. Off the tap, at a bar like Eagle Pie where you have pizza and then that's their main, be like their, that's their beer on tap. Or the PBR bar here in Las Vegas. 
tastes totally fine. Good price on the beer, especially down on, on, the, on the strip, but yeah, it's one of the weird, worst beers I've ever chugged. Like shotgun. I know a lot of people like um, the Michelob. I thought that Michelob was gonna be the hands down best. Because if I'm out golfing and I lose a golf, like we bet, some, like some people bet money, but we don't really bring a whole lot of beer to the golf course. So like if I have three beers in my cart, we'll bet, oh uh, dude, if I, be, if I beat you on this hole, you got a shotgun of beer or you got to take a shot something like that you know something innocent nothing crazy we're not like gambling money um and i usually i like to take Michelob's because it's the light and let's be honest it's las vegas it's 110 degrees out and i like to play the deal times so those, that's the beer that I take because it's so light. Um, I don't drink seltzers, too carbonated for me. I'd rather just drink a soda. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna be doing another shotgun video with my brother. I wish I was able to catch him yakking in the corner of my tree. I only have like a six minute video of him going like this at the end hilarious uh, god it was so funny but I plan on doing more uh, just bear with me uh, like I said this is definitely a 9 out of 10 for me uh, this is probably one of the highest I've ever rated Deschutes is just one of my favorite breweries um, the Lady Love Pineapple Beer I rated pretty high for being a different type of uh, beer that I've never tried before uh, So I consider this a very high rating on this on this beer right here If you find it at the grocery store um, the The fresh haze IPA from Deschutes I highly recommend it probably not gonna get it a whole lot on the East Coast um, but the West Coast here we have a lot of shuns, like sunshine IPA stuff. The I haven't really been back east, um, and especially with everything going on, I probably will never go back east. I wish I would have traveled a little bit more. Yes, uh, the whole um, what is it jab deal it is a big deal for people. Um, but I just wish I didn't have to travel with all of these uh, precautions. I wish I would have taken advantage when life was normal. But anyway, cheers. This is a great beer. Um, if you've made it this far, I really appreciate that you guys decided to stick around. And I appreciate you. Please like and share this video, comment. Tell me I'm an idiot. Tell me my mustache looks weird. Um, anything that you want to do, I'm cool with that. And I will reply. And I'll be like, hey, take some serious confidence to have a mustache. Just the stash. Let me look at that thing. That's, it's good, too, because when you get the foam right there, you just get an extra taste. Mm. I'm kind of taking my time on this because these are the last two out of the six pack that I bought. I'm trying to savor it. Um, the over tastings are a little much for me. <laughs> I mean, I won't lie, like I can drink a good amount of beer, but it's only because I'm 6'2", 30. Uh... I'm sure that you guys realize that when I was doing the brother, like the video with my brother. Um, I can drink a lot of beer. I don't, 
I don't drink a lot of beer often. But for these videos, I like to because I don't feel like you like this. I'm not a beer connoisseur. It takes a lot more for me to to understand what I'm drinking and what I'm tasting than like a cup this size or normal beer to where I'm like, mm, yes. So it has a hint of uh, the orange citrus taste. And the hotness is not, uh, it's not too overpowering. The barley that they used in the beer is obviously naturally sourced from the northern west coast of the United States. Now I'll take a taste and squeak it and spit it out. Job's kidding. I will drink the beer. Damn, that's a good beer. I highly recommend this beer. Highly, highly recommend this beer. Very, very good. I just drank two beers almost in under 15 minutes. I don't feel bloated. I don't have that bitter, bitter taste in my mouth from drinking IPAs like I usually would with this with this IPA. That's why I've rated it so high. I could drink this every day. I drink I could drink this with any meal. I mean I preferably with probably like a chicken or a pork because I like to bathe my pork in um orange like fresh squeezed orange juice um, and then I use like a slice on top of that pork chop it really brings out the uh, the flavor it helps with any of the bad stuff that's in pork um, that helps to kill it I had this with my with my sirloin steak tonight it was good um, not exactly the right pairing I would say for a uh, red meat, but still very good. <sighs> now, I said it was a nine. I may have to redo that because of the type of praise that I'm giving this beer. Um, I understand that if you find my channel and you actually watch the videos, you probably just like how regular I am. <sighs> so I will say, I'm gonna give this a 9.5. It's my highest rated beer so far. Please, if you find this, drink it and let me know what you think because I may just be biased because I visited the brewery, but I've also visited a couple other breweries in town and in other states. And it just doesn't, it just doesn't hit the same. Um, this is one of their best uh, brews, I think. And I highly recommend picking this up. Like I said, having like a nice chicken or pork dinner, sipping on it. It's very, very good. My wife really liked this beer. She's a big IPA person. So if you get the chance, please pick this up. Support Deschutes Brewery. They're located in Washington. And I really think that 
they know what they're doing when it comes to um, these these beers. I also had, <clears throat> so I had a flight when I was there and I had, what did I have there? I think I had like a steak or something, but it was, I got the darker beer there because I know how to pair my meals with my beers. I don't exactly know um, specific tastes and stuff when it comes to just the beer, but I'll let you guys know exactly what I would drink it with. Uh, what kind of food I'll drink it with. Um, that's definitely something that I have grown comfortable in, in, in my opinions on. So if you get the chance, pick this beer up, Deschutes uh, Fresh Haze IPA, 9.5 out of 10 my favorite beer so far and thank you guys for watching like i said like share comment subscribe i uh will see you guys in the next video it will be pretty soon and thank you for watching